Hi and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today we're going to be making an authentic Spanish style tapas feast for one. If I were to tell you that you could have the magnificent flavor of the Mediterranean in your mouth tonight without getting on a plane, you'd probably say that was bullshit. But I'm going to show you that you're wrong because we're going to make it right here at Henry's Kitchen. Let's get started with our first dish. Zalahornius Silenitas. We're going to start by boiling our carrot. Crush the garlic. One quarter teaspoon stoked pampica. And now I'm going to combine that with one quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar. Okay, now we're ready for our carrot. Should be nice and tender here. It's very hot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up into coins. Be very careful not to hurt yourself. They say that a third of all deaths in the kitchen are from stabbings. Now let's just pour it all into our marinade mixture. We're going to leave our Xanahoria Selenitas in the refrigerator for four hours, which is perfect timing because that's about the time that we need to make the rest of the dishes. Let's get started with the next dish, pan con tomate, or tomatoes rubbed upon. You start with one bread, and we're just going to cut it up into a square shape. You can use any kind of bread you want, I'm just using wheat. Okay, let's put it in our toaster here. We'll set it on mm, extra crispy. Leave that for a bit while we work on our tomato rub. You know, in Spain, a young man who's not able to properly cook a tomato is forbidden to have children. So our toast should be ready. Up. Ah. So a little trick if your toast is too small is that there is a way that you can just kind of force it out. So I'll grab a slotted spoon here and I'm just going to start scooping out some of this tomato stuff onto our toast and voila! It's time to start working on our next dish, cauliflower rebozada. Okay, so we just want to cut one floret chunk out of this cauliflower head. This one should do. So I've got two bowls here, one with egg and one with breadcrumbs. I guess you could call it sort of a makeshift assembly line, if you will. But I'm just going to dip our floret chunk into each bowl. First the egg, and then the breadcrumbs. Now I've got a pan here on a medium heat with some vegetable oil in there. I'm just going to throw our floret chunk in there, let it crisp up. In Europe they like stuff really crisp. And then I'm just going to set it on a paper towel lined plate to dry. No Mediterranean tapas feast is complete without brochettas de acutunas. Going to cut the cheese. So I'm going to put an olive on top of the cheese and then I'm going to poke the whole thing with a toothpick so that it stays erect. Add a little honey and top it off with some Spanish Marcona almonds. And now for the grand finale, Camarones al Aljilo. Let's start by frying up a little garlic with some olive oil and we're going to add one shrimp. Add some slices of lemon. Now flip the shrimp over. This part's tricky. Okay, let's start thinking about how we're going to make a nice presentation of our tapas.
Good way to kill a Saturday night. Thanks to Joby for giving us this recipe idea. And thanks to all the patrons at Patreon slash Henry's Kitchen for making these videos possible. Have a great month, everyone.